what is up? Let's ignore this uh, quarantine fake tan because my face is usually orange and my body's white and now my face is like the whitest thing I've ever seen and my body is low-key like bronze. I'm not even sure what color this is. I think it looks different on camera too than in person. Um, but we're just going to go for it, okay? Because... <sighs> quarantine. So today I'm going to be talking to you about how I've been losing weight and these new diet tricks that I've learned. Um, I have never struggled with my weight throughout my life. I was always very skinny. Um, I was actually quite athletic because I, as you guys know, I was a competitive figure skater. So for that we had to do like ballet, gymnastics, running, off ice training. Because of all those sports, I was always thin. And then most of you guys know about my um, past with my struggle with drug addiction and they make you very, very skinny because you don't eat. Um, and I've also struggled with some eating disorders throughout the years, um, mostly when I was about 12 or 13. I haven't really dealt with those in a while. They got a lot better. Um, but, you know, sometimes they're just like in the back of my mind. And I do realize that I go on like little binges or um, I just like won't eat for a few days and won't even really notice or won't really care. Um, so those were kind of the red flags that got me thinking that I should change my diet. And what really, really solidified this thought for me was in my past relationship, um, it was nothing on my partner. It was just our eating habits. You know, we would always go to the restaurant. We would always order, skip the dishes. I wasn't really a big eater before I met him. I didn't enjoy food, but he made me try different things. And I'm very picky as well. So that's another thing that kind of helps restrict my eating, if you will. Um, but he introduced me to all these things and we would always, always be eating. So um, a big part of our relationship was about food. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I was underweight when I met him. And then when we started dating and we were eating out, I gained my healthy weight back. So I was like at the normal weight for my height and my age. Um, and then I went over that. And I got to a point that I really did not like what I looked like. Um, and I would see pictures and videos of myself that I just I wasn't comfortable in my own skin and when I was wearing things it just they didn't feel right um, I also realized that I wasn't drinking enough water and so I kind of wrote all those things down and I started to track my calories better I was still doing it but I would kind of trick myself into thinking um, you know like oh I'm only eating this portion so I'm gonna put this amount but really I ate the whole thing so I just was kind of playing mind games with myself but since about mid March I have been taking my health and my body more seriously in the ways that I treat it especially with my food intake and exercise so I'm not exercising as much as I could be um, that I know will come later the first thing I wanted to focus on was changing my eating habits and then I was gonna get to the exercise later I felt like if I did those two at the same time I would get overwhelmed and when I get overwhelmed with something I will just toss it down the toilet and I just won't do it so I wanted to give myself a chance um, to actually you know lose this weight and feel better about myself so that is what I started doing so I will share with you guys how I track my food and the apps that I use so I use two apps that I just swear by I love them so much and I will also share with you everything that I eat in a day. So the program that I'm following right now is called intermittent fasting. Now you've probably heard of this and a lot of people are like, well, most people just do intermittent fasting because technically you don't eat at night. So you're, that's like eight hours right there. Um, yes, true. And basically what it is, I'm not a doctor. I'm just getting this from like healthline.com, but intermittent fasting is a cycle of eating and a cycle of fasting so you can have different hours so you can have like a 16 8 so you fast for 16 hours and then you have an eight hour eating period so intermittent fasting is based on the times that you eat and the amount of hours that you fast um, versus what you actually eat now I still try to eat healthy because I'm thinking if I'm putting my body through this fast why would I just shock it with junk food? Like, why not give it the best chance possible? And I personally feel like the longer I go fasting, the better I want to eat, like the better food I crave. So the hours that I eat are between noon and eight. Now, let's say I'm hanging out with my friends and we eat late and I finish eating, let's say at nine. 
I am still fasting for 16 hours, but the next day I'll just start eating at 1 instead of eating at noon. Or let's say I start eating at 12 and then I eat at I finish eating at 6, I can eat 2 hours earlier the next day, so I can eat at 10 a.m. the next day. But on top of this, I do track my calories, and now I don't track them to regulate every single little calorie. I just track them to hold myself accountable to the calories that I eat because I often just forget what I ate and then I'll think like I feel like I ate like a lot of junk food today this holds me accountable because I can physically see it and if I'm putting it in and it shows the calories I'm like mm, maybe I shouldn't eat all that like that sounds like a lot or so I have that calorie awareness if you will so I will share with you guys the two apps that I use for my intermittent fasting and for my calorie trackers. So the first app that I just swear by is called Fastic. So this is an intermittent fasting app and the way it works is you basically put in the time that you started fasting. So I've been fasting for 12 hours and 25 minutes. So according to this, I would have 3 hours and 34 minutes left to fast so i can eat at 1 25 p.m and i can eat at this time because yesterday i stopped i stopped eating at 9 25 p.m so to get to my 16 hours that's my goal you can also change this at the top here it'll say 16 8 which is what i do but you can choose different times so there's the beginners so these are all the different time options and then there's what's it called experienced and then there's the professional, so there's like 24. So you fast for 20 hours and then you eat for four. I really, really like the 16-8 option, especially because I work during the day. So my hours are 9 to 5. So I know that I basically stop eating at 8 p.m., which is a reasonable time because by the time I get home, supper, etc., 8 p.m. comes around, I'm not really eating after that because I'm going to get ready for bed or I'm going to do something um, and then go to sleep after. And when I get to work, I drink my water, I drink my coffee. You're allowed to drink coffee if there's nothing in it. So if it's just black and that's how I like my coffee. And you're also allowed to drink water, obviously. So I do those and then by noon, which is basically around lunchtime, um, I break my fast. I don't usually break my fast with like a full meal. My favorite, favorite thing to break my fast with is actually plain rice cakes with raw almond butter. I eat this every single day. Um, I will eat one and if I'm starving, I'll eat two. So they say that to break your fast, you should have like vegetables or protein. Um, so the rice cake is like a little bit of carbs, but... It's only 35 calories and it's a plain rice cake like there's nothing it's not like I'm eating potatoes or rice so um, that's what I break my fast with usually so I made myself this little reminder sheet I guess you can call it so I named it intermittent fasting obviously and then I put a little thing for water at the top just to remind myself that I try to drink three liters a day so that is my goal and so far I am succeeding in that goal and then I have my foods to break my fast so that's kind of like breakfast it could be lunch it could be supper depending on when i finish eating the night before so i usually do uh, plain rice cakes with raw peanut butter and then uh, veggies are good as well like raw or cooked i usually mix them with some protein so either some salmon or some chicken those are my two favorite proteins and as i just mentioned salmon and chicken usually i eat these in a salad if it's done with the vegetable at like supper time and i'm allowing myself to have a carb i'll opt for some brown rice or some quinoa but it's usually a salad um, and then I really, really like avocado as well. That's actually a new thing for me because I just didn't like the texture for the longest time. But now I really, really like it. So I mix that in my salad or if I'm having scrambled eggs, I will mix avocado in there. But breaking my fast with avocado is just the best. Um, almonds as well. So I eat them raw or almond butter. If I do almond butter, I tend to do it on a fruit. So I'm going to break my fast with like a protein or some vegetables and then I'm going to go in about half an hour to an hour later just because they recommend not to break your fast with the fruit because your insulin levels will spike because of the sugar. So when I do eat almond butter, I eat it um, usually with a banana or with a green apple, but a bit later after I break my fast, so about an hour after. And then beans are always good, so I usually eat like a chili, so black beans, red beans, chickpeas, those are my favorite beans to go with, and I love making like a big beet salad. Um, yeah, and I just like mix a bunch of things in there. Sometimes I put chicken, sometimes I put salmon, and then of course the eggs because there's so much protein. 
And then for my lunch and supper ideas, I, as I mentioned, eat some eggs and avocado, ground beef and peppers. I really, really like that. Uh, chicken and vegetables, fish and vegetables. These are kind of just like super straightforward. And then spaghetti squash or butternut squash are really good um, to replace like the carb feeling, like the texture of carbs when you're eating. I think that that's what I really, really like about eating carbs. So this kind of makes it seem like you're eating carbs, but you're not. And just to, like put some spaghetti sauce or even some meat, like meatballs or like some meat sauce. It'll kind of replace that feeling of eating carbs carbs lettuce wrap fajitas lettuce wrap tacos stuffed mushroom pizza um stuffed mushrooms are just like the best the portobello ones the huge ones and you just put like whatever you want on them and cauliflower rice and cauliflower crust for pizza i know pizza pizza even has a cauliflower crust it is becoming so popular and it is really really healthy and then i put some reminders at the bottom so black coffee black tea is okay during um fasting because there's really no calories in there it's basically just water and and anything under 50 calories they say is okay I don't do anything like even a piece of gum I just won't do but they say that it won't shock your body if you do something less than 50 calories so if you put like a little bit of skim milk or just something like that in your coffee for example that should be okay and just a reminder to myself and I guess anybody else who's doing intermittent fasting, there are good carbs and there are bad carbs. So keep that in mind because you can't eliminate all carbs. It's impossible. You need carbs. It's just like good fats and bad fats. And a good night's sleep makes such a big difference. And then at the bottom, I wrote the two apps that I love. So Fastic and Lifesum. I'll show you the one that I use for my calorie tracker. I swear by this app. I recommend it to everybody. It is called Life Sum. So um, this app tells you the amount of calories that you're allowed to eat based on your weight goals. So if your goal is to lose weight, you enter um, your weight, your height, your gender, and then it'll calculate that based on like, okay, you want to lose a pound a week, um, so this is the amount of calories you should be eating, or you want to gain weight, or you want to whatever, so it'll calculate it, and so I allow myself about a thousand a hundred calories a day, um, so it says that I burn four calories, I'm not wearing my Apple Watch though, so it's not really accurate, but if I'm like walking around, like right now I'm going shopping, if I'm walking around, I will input that I've been doing like 30 minutes of, you know, normal pace walking, and then that'll deduct it from my calories, so... Um, yeah, this is the app interface, and then if you go down here, it'll tell you all of your meals. Mine is in French, but it's basically breakfast, lunch, supper, and then snacks. Then you get the exercise, and then at the bottom, you have all the water. So you can see, I'll show you guys yesterday. So yesterday, I ate this many calories, so let me see, 918, which actually is a lot. I have 700. 65 left and then these are the calories that I've burned so I burned 586 83 calories and then it'll tell you the breakdown of like your fats your sugars um and then your protein and then at the on the um meal options it'll tell you like exactly what I ate and it'll give you like a little smiley face depending if it likes what you ate or not yesterday I ate really really badly so my smiley faces are like not impressed but Today, they will probably be more impressed because I'm going to be back on eating healthy. And the last thing I want to touch on before I go into the world and show you guys what I eat on a daily basis is the water. Now, I try to drink three liters of water a day. And the trick that I found to doing this, especially at work because I'm just sitting there for eight hours, is buying a huge water bottle. So... I would not go refill my glass of water because it was like ugh, such a hassle like I'm not even thirsty I'm not gonna bother but with this which is 2.5 liters the mammoth mug I will link it down below um, I find that I drink so much more water and I usually don't bring it home on weekends I will drink out of like this water bottle which I think is like a liter um, but I will refill it a few times and I bring it everywhere I go. It fits in my purse. This does not fit in my purse, even though it's huge. Um, but yeah, so I will drag this around, um, like meetings. Everyone always laughs at me with my big water bottle, but it does seriously help. So I base myself on drinking half of it before lunch and then half of it after lunch. 
easy peasy and I drink some in the morning when I'm getting ready out of this water bottle so I'll just be doing my makeup and drinking some water and then when I get home I obviously drink more water because the more water you drink the more water you crave so it's kind of like a cycle but it's a healthy cycle so yes this is my baby so I will carry it around today um, I'll put it in the car obviously and I will track everything with you guys i will show you what i eat in the day um it is the weekend so i kind of allow myself to eat a little more um calorie caloric foods <laughs> so um i'm not sure what i'm gonna eat yet depending on where i am around lunchtime but I will uh, go through all of that with you guys and bring you along. Okay, so I made it to 2.04 p.m. just because we're shopping for my new condo furniture. So I'm gonna click end fast. So I've been fasting for 16 and a half hours. And then I click, so this is like my mood, like how I'm, like how did my fast feel basically. So I'm gonna say good, which is almost at the end because I have no complaints. Um, and then I got a new flame. So that's gonna give me my frosty, as you guys can see. So that means that I can skip a fast day. Um, and I can keep that for whenever I want, honestly. And then I just gained five stars because I made it past my fasting time. If I would have made it like right before my fasting time, like, let's say like 15 hours, then I would have got four stars instead of five. And so now I'm going to eat my salad. So we just went to this place called The Chop Leaf and it's like a health food store. So this is what I got. So it's um, brown rice base and I added chicken and then it comes with a little salsa. I got some lettuce, some avocado, oh my gosh, some corn, some black beans um and some cheese so that's what i got and i'm on my second iced coffee and i just get these black so it's a uh, venti black iced coffee and i am almost done like a quarter of my jug of water i haven't been doing good with my water because i've been drinking coffee instead but yeah so that's what i'm breaking my fast with i know there's carbs in here but i usually don't eat carbs so on the weekends i'm allowing myself to eat a few carbs so not a big deal um, as long as it's healthy and so I will check in with you guys after but we just stopped at Dairy Queen and I got a small <laughs> blizzard <laughs> They're laughing at me. Um, my blizzard is the chocolate brownie extreme and I got extra cookie dough because Why not? I had a salad for lunch. So girl I'm good. Okay, so it is 8.05 and I have been getting some notifications from Fastic. So the first one was an hour ago, so at 7 before my fast ends. And it says, don't forget to start your timer, your fasting window begins in an hour. Um, so then I just left it there. And now that it's 8, I got, don't forget to start your timer, try to keep the ball rolling, it's worth it. So it gives you like little encouragement. Um, and then this is what it looks like. So I just will click start fasting. And that's it. Now my fasting timer has started and I'm actually going to skip supper because I had half of my blizzard and I just cannot handle any more food. Um, but I am drinking my water. I haven't been doing super, super good with my water, but I will definitely finish this in like the next hour or so. Um, and then before bed, I'll have some more water. And they say that cold water is actually really, really good because you lose weight by digesting it because your body is trying to warm up while you're drinking the cold water. So definitely opt for cold water if you can handle drinking cold water. I know some people like room temperature water, um, but I always fill this up with cold water. And sometimes I will empty it throughout the day and then just like refill it. Um, but yeah, now I haven't been weighing myself because I feel like I just get obsessed with the number on the scale. So I don't weigh myself. And when I do work out, I know that muscle weighs more than fat. So I kind of that number like messes with my head so i do opt out of weighing myself but i continuously you know see how my clothes fits and how i feel like i look and how my clothes looks on my body compared to even like a month ago and that is what i base myself on to see if um it is working for me so this is not a diet promotion video this is nothing like that um do 100% what you feel comfortable doing. I'm not telling anybody to lose weight. This is just how I have been losing weight and getting healthier. That's really, really the main goal for me. Um, and a lot of you guys requested it because you have been noticing that I am losing weight. So I was just kind of sharing my tips and tricks. So if you're trying to get healthier, I hope some of these have helped you. And don't forget to drink your water. Thank you guys so, so much for watching my What I Eat in a Day video. I have linked the two apps that I love and use every single day, as well as my water bottle 
bottle in the description below so definitely check those out if you're interested as always I have some socials linked below I have some discount codes some affiliate links you can get anything from Fashion Nova to skip the dishes to an uber I love you and I'll see you in my next video bye guys